fundamentally, AI is probably the most serious risk over the last couple of decades that has come to our business model. How are you thinking about AI for the IT Genius business and what it will mean for customers? Will you be using more AI in your service provision? Will you be teaching customers how to better use AI tools? I'll say fundamentally, AI is probably the most serious risk over the last couple of decades that has come to our business model. And it's not just because we're an IT services company, it's professional services delivery in general across the world. Anyone who's in the business of intellectual property, of consulting, of best practice, effectively just had all their best ideas outsourced or open sourced. And what I mean by that is, if you were to go to GPT and ask it some strategic questions about Google Workspace, you're probably gonna get pretty darn good answers. You're probably gonna get answers on par with what I'm putting out here on the channel. And maybe there's a last mile, I'll call it, a last mile where the last 5% of best practice, intellectual property, the IT genius way of doing things is maybe like better by 5% than what you'll get from GPT. But to be honest, it's not gonna be that much difference. And that gap is gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until our value of our intellectual property is pretty much gonna go to zero. Now, am I worried about that? Not particularly. We put all of our intellectual property out on the internet. We share it freely on YouTube and we try as much as possible to help it and give everyone the answers to the questions that they have. Because we know that part of the value of our business is actually being the person who presses the button. Anyone can read the instruction manual, but not everyone wants to be the person who presses the button. And that's pretty fundamental to our business. We are in the game of time arbitrage. And so we've built an amazingly talented pool of skills and resources. And business owners can effectively get access to time at a discount, which has been curated by us. That's the fundamentals of our business model. So if you want to migrate a mailbox, yeah, sure, you could spend two or three hours working out how to do that yourself. You could watch a bunch of our videos. Or you could sign up to Concierge and say to our team, hey, Bob's leaving on Friday, his last day and last, uh, you know, he's, he's clocking out at 5 p.m. Can you archive his mailbox and get it done for me? And our team will just get that done. They'll archive the mailbox, they'll change the password, they'll disable the account, they'll save the emails, and then you free up a license for your account from next week. We'll probably set up the new employee coming in to replace Bob on Monday for you. So I don't think our business is going to disappear anytime soon because I know we're in the game of time arbitrage for business owners. And I know we're really great at delivering on that and we're really useful. But how does large language models, how do conversational AI-based tools potentially change the game on how a service delivery business might be delivering to their customers? Well, I'd love to have AI-based chat so you can get access to our intellectual property faster. So it's not always a human that has to be driving it. And I would always want it to be hybrid. So there's the human touch behind it. Because if you just want to talk to a robot, go to GPT or go to Gemini, right? But our business is really about, you know, the person there ready to hold your hand pressing the button. So we'd always want to do it hybrid with humans. Would we use AI in the service delivery of writing emails for customers? We already are. We already have drafted responses via AI. We have automatic dispatch of tickets to AI. We've actually been doing that for years in the background with our service. Our customers don't necessarily know that. All they see is that we deliver really efficiently and we've got hundreds and hundreds of five-star reviews to show that. But effectively, yes, that's coming into our business, but I don't think our whole team's value would be replaced by AI very soon. Here's my philosophy on our market positioning and, and what we're here for. We absolutely believe in empowering small business owners to get the most out of technology and help turn technology from like a scary black box that sits in a corner into a tool that everyone can use to improve their lives, to build more productive teams and to build a business that they love and works on their terms. So yes, we've bit by bit started adding little bits of our thoughts on Gemini, little bits of how Google's tools use AI and how you can start to build that into your strategic thinking as a business owner. Now, is that necessarily our niche? Not really, it's adjacent to our niche. Right now, we tend to focus on Google Workspace because we're global experts in that, but there are a number of adjacent topics that sit around Google Workspace, which we delve into from time to time. It might be setting up your CRM system. It might be setting up a great help desk. It might be how do you get data and analytics and your reporting and your KPIs right. It might be how do you set up and deliver projects in something like a Asana task management tool. AI I see as one of those adjacent products, which is, okay, large language models, chatbots, tools that can 
have both business owners and teams empowered to do more? Yes, that's within our scope. Would we connect a Zap into your GPT account and run a query for you and then connect that into Google Chat? Hell yeah, we'll do that for you. So as much as possible to broadly support small business owners with technology to help them support their business. So I would say, keep asking your questions. Give me specific questions in our Q&A, ask.itgenius.com. And let me know what your questions are about AI tools. I can cover pretty much anything in the small business tech world, and I'd love to help you with those. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this, Click the link below to get started.